can. It's July 21, 2020, a Tuesday, and welcome, welcome to my vlog. I'm so glad you joined me. Um, I'm wearing my tie-dye t-shirt that Beckham Philip Baumgartner, age four, made for me with his mom, Lori Baumgartner, aka Lori Gardner, actress, voiceover artist, editor extraordinaire. So I'm really proud of it. And I'm wearing my handkerchief that I found in my drawer that my mom gave me for the Texas Sequicentennial. Woo! That's a mouthful. Anyway, I'm glad to find it. I'm going to use it for my mask. Uh, thinking of all you wonderful people in Texas that I hope are wearing masks because it really makes a difference. And so I'm pleading with you. There's so many people I love in Texas. Well, everybody in Texas, basically. And I want you to wear a mask to protect each other. Okay, so today I've got something really cool for you. Guy Strobel, one of my dearest, oldest friends in New York City, is going to play Fats Waller's Ain't Misbehaving. Uh, this song was written in 1929. It's almost 90 years old. He wrote it while he was in prison on some alimony charges, but uh, you can see why he was not misbehaving like we're not misbehaving because we're in lockdown still trying to protect everyone that we love in new york city the t city is open but we're still being very careful and i hope you are being careful also no one to talk with all by myself no one to walk with but i'm happy on the shelf ain't misbehaving saving my love for you Saving. I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flirting, it's just you I'm thinking of. A misbehaving, saving my love for you. Like Jack Horner in the corner. I don't care to go I'm home about eight Just me and my radio Ain't misbehaving Saving my love for you For you so, uh, Also he's going to play The Serial Song Which the lyrics were written by His nephew Scotty Applegate He's a wonderful young man at 11 years old. He wrote this song, and now he's literally a lineman for the county in Iowa. How cool is that? So, hey, Scotty, here's your song with music by Guy Strobel. Way back when I was a little bitty kid, about five or so, and still wearing a bib, I used to talk to my cereal. Say it was my best bud I told it to get its body glue ready There was going to be a lot of blood So you can walk around town With other cereal far, far down Cause you're my C R E A L My my cereal, my C R E A L, my crunchy chewy cereal. And then when I was six, I spilled my cereal on the floor and went out the door to make some friends. But they decided they didn't like me anymore, so I went home and ate my cereal off the floor. My crunchy chewy cereal, you're my C. R-E-A-L My, my, my cereal My C-R-E-A-L My crunchy, chewy cereal And now I'm 11 and a half And still talking to my cereal Guess it's just a real bad habit Right now I scarf my cereal down Like the carrots to a rabbit Better get your glue ready the cereal I eat is Captain Crunch, and I eat it for breakfast, supper, and lunch. You're my best bud. You're my C R E A L. My 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 cereal. 
my cereal. I want to take a moment to acknowledge the passing of a dear friend of mine, Phyllis Somerville. She died last Friday, and I'm so terribly saddened that we won't be enjoying her beautiful smile here on earth, but you can see her in film and television. She was such a fantastic actress. I think the reason she just decided not to wake up one morning was because she hated the thought of a world without live theater. But it'll be back, we'll be back, because everyone's gonna take care of each other, right? And I like this one memory that Guy Strobel, who actually worked with Phyllis years ago, they went skinny dipping in a quarry in New Milford, New Hampshire. So I love that image of Phyllis skinny dipping in the sky somewhere. Um, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed Guy's music. We had a great time putting it down. Um, See you next time. Subscribe and like. Much love. Bye-bye.